of antibiotics and increasing the functional capacity and reducing the economic burden of duty of patients. So the object of my study is to improve the quality of life of the patient and uh, to select an appropriate antibiotic of the urinary tract infection and to evaluate the cost effectiveness of antibiotics using the treatment for the urinary tract infection and to assess the functional capacity in affected women before and after the treatment of the antibiotics. The methods used in my study is a uh, prospective observation study and uh, the exclusion criteria of the study is uh, pregnant women, the age group less than 15, or greater than 85 years, males, and outpatients with the UTI tract infections. And the main plan of the study is to screen the urinary tract infection and to uh, collect the data, including the to collect the data data based on the inclusion criteria um, and to, to evaluate and analyze the antibiotic based on the diagnostic and to evaluate the cost effectiveness of the antibiotic and to analyze the cost effectiveness and uh, to follow up the follow up study. The result of my study is the maximum amount of the microorganism uh, culture is the Estonesia body and the risk factors observed is menopause, diabetes, and uh, uh, surgery and urethritis. And in infection acquisition, the 70 percentage of the patients have, have been acquired with the uh, hospital acquired UTI patients. And the patient's distribution based on the symptoms are urgent, uh, burning maturation, lung pain, and dysuria. The functional capacity observed oh. before antibiotic is 30.2, which is severe. So the after antibiotic is 20.4, which is minor. Based on this, we found out that after uh, antibiotic administration, there, there was a mild result based on the life history. This is the functional capacity of the quality of life uh, is being measured using the life history scale. Before administration and after administration, we found out that the Cephalopyrazone and Salvaxone uh, is being administered frequently for the UK patients and the reoccurrence rate was less for Amikazine. So the cost effectiveness was uh, increased for uh, uh, the patients who is prescribed for the Sega uh, and was reduced in Amikazine. This is the reoccurrence rate. So from this we observed that the Cephalopyrazone and Salvaxone is being uh, given for a maximum number of patients and the reoccurrence rate is uh, more compared to uh, other drugs. In the amicacin, we have the reoccurrence rate is less and it is also cost effective. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, we found out that the amicacin is the most effective drug compared to uh, the cephalopyrazone and salvaxone. According to you, which category of antibiotics is best suited for urinary tract infection here? E. coli? Yeah, amicacin. 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 What about nocloxin, and ciprofloxin, and bivoclopsin? All the uh, chloroquine and all. We have a